What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the next DIY channel. My name is Jimmy Lewis and I will be taking over the channel today to talk about some things that I'm going to be doing in my yard with the Humic 12 and the D-Thatch. So for those of you that have never seen me before, I run my own YouTube channel at Jimmy Lewis Mows on YouTube. Search for that or check the link in the description below. You'll find a link to the channel right there. On my channel you'll find a lot of DIY stuff, especially on lawn care. Things that I do around my yard, I have about 10,000 square feet of Kentucky bluegrass and I love taking care of my lawn. And I love using the next products, which is why I'm here today to talk about what I'm gonna use and why I'm gonna use it and why I'm gonna use it now. My lawn's coming out of dormancy, as you can see. Um, things are starting to get going here for the, for the new season. And I wanna go ahead and just kind of get the soil going and get some activity going on down in the root system, in the soil profile, and just kind of wake things up. So we'll go ahead and uh, talk about the products I'm gonna use to do that today. And we'll go ahead and get started. Let's go. So I'm going to be using two products today. Uh, the first product I'm going to use is going to be Humic 12. And I'm using Humic 12 because Humic is a chelator and it's going to help any other products I put down to work and activate. And it's also going to condition the soil. And regular applications of this throughout the year are only going to help you. So I'm going to put that down to start things out. I'm also going to use Dethatch. And Dethatch is the main product I want to use today. So the reason I'm gonna use Dethatch today is because it's gonna break down any loose material, any excess material that's beneath the grass, and it's gonna return any nutrients that are left over in there back to the soil. It's gonna just break things down, loosen things up, and I think it's gonna really help the grass wake up this year as it clears out a path for airflow, for nutrients, moisture, etc. So that's the plan for today. I'm gonna apply those via a hose and sprayer. I've got the ortho dial and spray here. It's ready to go, it's hooked up to the water. I just need to load the tank and apply it. So a couple of things I like to tell people when it comes to these hose and sprayers and these products is you don't really need to strive for perfection. If you're a little OCD like me, it's okay to, to fill up a little more than what's recommended because it's not all gonna come out of the tank. And another thing I like to tell people is it's okay to dilute. And I actually get a better experience with these products when I dilute it down in the tank. So for example, Humic 12, we're gonna put three to nine ounces per thousand down. I have 2,000 square feet in my front yard. And so we'll go in the middle and do six ounces per thousand. So six ounces per thousand times 2,000 square feet is gonna give us 12 ounces in the tank. Okay, so I'm gonna fill up this tank to 12 ounces. And of course, any excess is okay. We'll just spray that off and spray it down. We're not putting down any nitrogen products today, so it's not a big deal. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up the rest of this tank with water and dilute this down. So I'm gonna have 32 ounces full of product in the tank, and that's important to remember for the next step. After using this for a while, you kind of get a feel for how the trigger works and you can kind of control the flow of the water. So if you want it to come out a little slower, you just gently squeeze the trigger and you can fill up the rest of the tank pretty simply without creating too much bubbles or worrying about anything spraying up and out of the way. So there's 32 ounces. Now if you're using iron products, you can wear gloves to keep the iron from off your hands. Um, otherwise, you can just make sure this is in the off position and just rinse yourself off there, no problem. And we'll uh, rinse that part out as well that we spilled on. Not a big deal. So we have 32 ounces in the tank. That's gonna cover 2,000 square feet. We know that the ortho sprayer emits water through the hose at two gallons a minute. I'm gonna set this to a four ounce setting here. So four ounces per gallon, eight ounces per minute, 
32 ounces in the tank, and that's gonna give us four minutes to, before this is empty. So we have four minutes on a setting of four ounces here to get this out. So that should be plenty of time to walk this area of 2,000 square feet and easily apply this. And it, it, I shouldn't feel rushed. I shouldn't feel like I'm going too slow. And if I do feel like I'm going too slow, I can bump this up to a six or something like that. And I know I gotta go a little faster. The trick with these is just to use them enough. And with, with products like the biostimulants, it's, they're really great for practicing. So once you get the feel of it, it makes things a lot easier down the road with that experience. So with that, I'll just shake this up a little bit and spray it out. Now when it comes to the dethatch, you're gonna wanna use nine ounces per thousand of this stuff. So nine ounces per thousand, 2,000 square feet, 18 ounces is gonna go in the tank and then the rest is gonna go with the water. Shake it up real good. All right, that's gonna go ahead and wrap things up for me here. Glad to have that task done. Um, I'm looking forward to using the next products in my yard throughout the season. So make sure you go ahead and head over to my channel and subscribe so you can see what else I'm doing around here and to see the results that I get most importantly. If I could leave you with one final tip uh, with that ortho hose end sprayer and any other hose end sprayer for that matter, make sure when you're done that you rinse it out really, really well. And I'm talking triple rinse the tank, fill up the tank, shake it up to get anything that's left up in the upper cavities of the, the nozzle itself, dump that out, fill up the tank again, and then put the setting on eight ounces and then just spray it and let that rinse out the straw and everything else that might have uh, leftover product inside. That stuff can build up over time, cause clogs, cause problems. Now, of course, these things aren't meant to last forever, but you want them to last as long as possible before you spend another $10 on another sprayer. So that's gonna go ahead and wrap things up for me. For next DIY, I'm Jimmy Lewis. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.